Hey everyone, welcome back to Old Guy Firewood. Hey Clifford, how you doing buddy? Huh? Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that uh, a lot of you who have multiple chainsaws are probably going to be interested in. Um, I've had several chainsaws over the years, started with a Husqvarna L65 back in 1968. Then I bought a 359, and then I bought a 365, and um, uh, seems like I had something else in there too, but uh, um, then I decided I wanted to get a uh, another 50cc type chainsaw, and I looked at the 550 XP. They were rated real good, and then I bought a 572 XP after that. So uh, long story short, uh, all of my saws, with the exception of the 550 XP, ran uh, 3 8 pitch 050 gauge chain. And uh, on all of my saws, I have 20 inch bars. Uh, I do have a 28 that I put on the 572 for some of the big stuff occasionally, but generally all 20 inch, um, all 050 3 8 pitch. And uh, then I, here I have this 550 XP that has 0.325 pitch chain on it. And um, it just got me to thinking, I've got all these chains, I've got probably 15 chains uh, that are 05038s, and um, I kind of rotate those through and always have four or five sharp ones ready to change out. And um, then I'll, you know, on a rainy day, I'll sit in the shop and, and sharpen some more and have them ready to go. So for the sake of consistency, I wanted to look at using the 38s. Uh, pitch chain on the 550 XP, and um, you know, typically you see the 325 on the, on the less powerful saws. But I looked at uh, my 359, which is a 59 cc saw, and it ran a 38050, and uh, it's 3.9 horsepower as the specs on it. I looked at the 550 XP, and um, it's uh, the specs on it are 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 um, four horsepower, so a tenth of a horsepower more than 359. And I said, you know, it just makes sense that that saw will pull a 38050 chain. And uh, I did a little research on the internet, and several guys had switched theirs out and were pleased with it. So I thought I'd give it a try. So today what I'm going to do is uh, a little test. We're going to run the 550 XP Mark II with the original 325 chain, and we're going to do three timed cuts. And then I'm going to show you what you need to do to switch it out, switch it over to 3 8 pitch. Um, I'm going to show you the parts you need. We'll actually go through the changeover. And uh, then we'll do three timed cuts with the 3 8 uh, 050 chain and compare, see if one's faster than the other, um, see if one uh, pulls better than the other, uh, see if one just generally feels and cuts better than the other. So uh, that's the plan. So uh, uh, hang around and we're going to. Crank up the uh, 550 XP with the original 0.325 chain on it, 20 inch bar, and uh, see how it does. I'll tell you what, folks, it is another hot day here in North Carolina, uh, and no end in sight. It's, uh, I think, going to be in the low 90s today, and the humidity is just killer, so it's kind of nice to be doing this over here in the shade. One thing I'd mention, um, you know, talking about which chain is going to cut faster, better, whatever. Uh, one of the main key things that you got to remember is that you got to have a sharp chain, whichever chain you're using, and you can't force it. Um, let the saw do the work. I've seen guys that'll, you know, their saw is obviously dull. dull. I'm out cutting, <laughs> and they'll put the saw on the wood and you know it's not going anywhere and they'll dig the dogs in and they'll crank down on it and um, you know that's that's you'll never cut cut good with a, a dull chain um, everything we're going to do in this test uh, they're 20 inch bars uh, one's uh, 0.325 050 gauge um, and uh, it's a brand new chain and the other one is 3 8 050 and uh, it's a newly sharpened chain, almost brand new. I think the first time I sharpened it, so should be a good comparison. And as I say, watch. I, I'm not going to try to force anything. I'm going to let the saw do its work, and uh, that'll be a real test of uh, of the saw and the chain and how it works.
the two main components that uh, that change when you make this change from uh, 0.325 to a 3 8 pitch chain is uh, the sprocket in the nose of, of the bar. So you need a need a new bar with a um, a 3 8 sprocket, and then in the saw itself, uh, and we'll take that apart in, in a minute. The sprocket that's uh, on the crankshaft that drives the chain uh, has to be changed out also to be compatible with 3 8 chains. So I'm going to set you up on the stand here for a minute and uh, we'll go ahead and go through that change out. Okay, I have a new bar here which uh, has a 3 8 sprocket in the, in the tip and I've got the new sprocket that goes on the saw which is a, um, a 3 8 7 pin and I've got uh, the 3 8 chain and we're going to go ahead and put them on now. This 550 XP Mark II has uh, captive nuts on the on the uh, cover here, and uh, I've never had a saw that had that. It's really nice because you know if you're changing things out in the woods, um, quite often uh, these um, nuts will come off and fall down in the leaves and hard to find. But um, with this saw, they stay right with the cover. So, all right, get this chain off. The old 325 chain, the old bar off, 325 bar, and uh, now we need to take this clutch off, and uh, basically um, it's uh, reverse threaded, so to loosen it you go clockwise, and um, I've been pretty successful just taking a, a screwdriver. And a hammer. Let me see if I got a hammer here. There's actually a little um, a mark here on this uh, clutch that shows off, and there's a little notch here with a with a flat point that you can tap on. And normally a couple taps and it'll it'll break loose. And there it goes. Now, if it doesn't, sometimes, you know, that it just doesn't come loose. And what you can do is um, take the spark plug out, take some um, pull cord and stuff it down in on top of the piston and crank it until the piston locks. And then uh, you can give it a little bit uh, harder push. That comes off. This comes off. And uh, there's the old sprocket. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, uh, 325 7 on it. And here's the new sprocket, which is uh, 3 8 7. And the 3 8 sprocket is bigger around than the 325, but the center where the splines are is the same size. And that's important. And uh, I'll leave a part number for that. You have to get one that. Um, that fits um, fits this clutch. Okay, now we put the uh, put the new 3/8 sprocket on. Clutch on, or the drum clutch drum, and then. Uh, clutch on, go counterclockwise to get it on there. Now this is self-tightening, so when you run the saw, it's going to tighten up. Okay, now, got the 3 8 050 bar, got the 3 8 sprocket on there. Now we'll go ahead and put the 38050 chain on. Yeah, it's getting dark and there's a storm coming up. So we're going to go ahead and get these uh, three cuts done and see what we come up with.
325 chain was definitely faster but uh, we'll have to take a look at the times and see what the difference is well the rain has started and um, just relaxing here on the screen porch looking out over the wood yard had to rush the finish of the video today a little bit uh, started to get a lot of thunder and lightning and uh, that went on by, but as I say, the rain's coming now. So I think that'll probably do it for today's video, folks. Uh, as I say, it's raining here now. I'm sitting on the porch, looking out over the wood yard, over the backyard, into the woods, and uh, just relaxing. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I was hoping that uh, our little experiment today would show that the 3 8 pitch chain would cut just as fast as the um, 325 chain does and it didn't it was about uh, three seconds a cut slower um, but we're cutting some pretty good size wood about a 16 inch maple tree that we were cutting or log and um, I don't know I think the jury's still out as, as to what I'm going to do I think the 3 8 chain will last longer between sharpenings um, I uh, the advantage of having so many chains of that size and uh, trying to be um, uniform and in, in the chains that I keep on in stock uh, is a big benefit. So um, I don't know. I may stick with the 3 8 chain just uh, so I have all my chains the same. Or uh, if, I, if three seconds a cut is a big deal, then... Uh, I may go ahead and go with uh, and buy some 325 chains and start using those on the 550 XP Mark II. But anyway, I really appreciate you coming by today. I really appreciate you watching. Um, please subscribe. Um, I have videos where I've had several thousand views, and um, you know, obviously, all those people aren't subscribing. But I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Um, trying real hard to get uh, get up to a thousand subscribers and when I do that as I mentioned in last week's video I'm gonna have a nice giveaway um, I have a I have a couple really nice prizes and uh, if you got a chainsaw it's uh, both of them or something that uh, you'll really enjoy but for now um, as I always say uh, be sure to keep moving as I think uh, uh, Chris in the woodyard uh, said in his last video uh, keep mo keep moving or uh, gravity will take over or something like that but um, again hope you enjoyed it i really appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next one thank you